What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're an OG of the channel, you know what this is the situation is. The, the sunglasses inside, the wood cabinets behind. That's right, we're doing year two with the $16 Amazon Foam Cannon review. I'm gonna show you guys, um, actually a lot of people's m m concerns, like I see a lot of comments, they're like, this thing didn't work, yada yada yada. Uh, I'm just gonna show you, there's actually the reasons why some people think that it actually wouldn't work, but real OGs on the channel know this is where most of it started. I used the Jetta in the first video, the truck in the second video, and today we have a very, very dirty Hellcat. So we're gonna go outside and get the Hellcat wash. Same old, same old leaky power washer all the ogs on the channel should get a kick out of this video so um let's get into this and uh yeah i uh consistently forget about this uh because my all my vehicles have been manual for the last three uh i consistently forget i have a remote start finally which is like i was gonna get in the car and do the whole cold start thing but like makes so much more sense not only are we gonna wash the outside with the foam can i also still need to wipe down the dash i never have from when when i got the car so we're gonna take care of that today too now the biggest complaint i had in the last two videos was oh my gosh your cars aren't even dirty now look at how dirty this hellcat is i drove it in the rain and for some reason on these chargers the way the water flows it literally goes down and up and back onto the trunk it makes no sense but the trunk is the um like prime spot for all the dirt other than that you can see oh, i don't want to do this but i don't know if you can see that but yeah there's a lot of dirt on this car down here these rockers absolutely just caked yeah look at those fingerprints this car is very very dirty so here is the original $16 Amazon foam cannon from that video I've probably washed between these last two years well over 150 you know times with this thing <clears throat> okay, so what people, most people don't know is look at the cannon like, oh, mine doesn't work, it's a piece of junk, yada, yada, yada. They don't know that there's two adjustments on here. Yes, these are adjustments, they're not for show. This is going to adjust the foam. I guess there's a plus and a minus. The more towards the minus you add, the more foam will come out. The more plus you add, the more water will come out. So there's that. And there's also this adjustment here where you turn it and it's going to adjust your uh, your fan pattern. So there's two adjustments on here. If I know when I got mine, I didn't have it adjusted and nothing worked. All you got to do is find the happy spot between these two nozzles and it does awesome. We're almost out of ceramic shampoo. I'm going to have to get more. But in the process, let me see how much I can uh, actually fill up here. There's a decent amount in there. I think there's still a little water left over from last time, so we're gonna add a little more soap. The OG Meguiar's Wash and Wax as well, just a little bit to you know top it off. So what we're gonna go do is fill this up with water and then get the power washer running. Okay, so as you can see, this, the, the soap is sliding off the paint, which because I, I did use a ceramic detailer on it. However, look at this. This stuff is, it is thick. It is quite thick. And as you can see, the foam cannon works just fine. It all depends on what soap you put in the cannon also. Honestly, it's been two years. This cannon still works fine. So, um, like you can see, it still works. Most people don't realize the next step in this process is wash buckets. Some people use the two, uh, the two bucket wash. I still need to get a second bucket. This doesn't clean your car in itself. You need to also wipe it down. So we're gonna do that now. So obviously if you wipe it down, you're still gonna have the, you know, the dirty, soapy kind of water. So you're gonna wanna power wash it off. However, I got a new bucket of water here. We're gonna use the rest of the soap and go for a second coat. I personally do this every time. And when I do my ceramic coating on my truck, I did three, three washes, but every time 
just wash it twice. You got enough soap in there to do so. Whether you got a truck or a car, I find that I use just about half every time. So go ahead, give her a second coat, and we're gonna come back here, wipe her down again, and then we will power wash her off, come back with a ceramic detailer, and finally clean the dash on the inside. Because it's so light outside, I got the car out of the sun so this water didn't dry. We got a whole bunch of water spots. I'm gonna have it drip dry in here for a little bit. I'm gonna take care of the dash and then we'll come back and hopefully use some of the ceramic detailer on the outside of the car. Keep these uh, hydrophobic properties intact. So next we're gonna get inside and tackle the interior because I have not cleaned the dash since I got it. It's quite dusty. better than driving a clean car. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually heading to my buddy's house right now. We might be filming another video when we're there, so stay tuned for that. But at the same time, um, I still need to vacuum this car out, but that's besides the point, but let's get rolling. I may have to commit the sin and roll the windows down because it's such a nice day, and uh, I kind of want to enjoy it. And three, two, yep, I, I've done it. I've done it. Alright guys, so as you can see, the foam cannon works just fine after two years. Works just fine when I first got it. For 16 bucks and oh, well over 150 uses, the thing is, you know, mint. It, it, it's great. Love the thing. Um, top link in the description below always if you want the same cannon I've used for this whole time. Like I said, there's just adjustments on there. It's about knowing, you know, how to adjust it how it works, all that stuff, the amount of soap you put in. Um, other than that, I mean, the Canon works great. There, there's no difference between those and the ones from these companies that they got their special label on. It, it's all the same stuff imported from China, so. Uh, quick life update here. We are going through some possible moves. I may be moving back up to Cleveland. Um, you know, family, you know, spent time with family and stuff like that over the past couple, three years. I've really neglected that and I don't really want to do that. So, um, <laughs> might be moving back up to Cleveland here. Uh, but obviously people in Columbus, the, the trip is not that far. I can make it in an hour and a half, hour, 45 minutes. So, you don't got to worry about that. I'll, I'll still be in Columbus uh, often. However, I'll also be up in Cleveland. So, stuff like that. You'll see a lot this summer. A lot of, a lot of different locations this summer in the videos. It'll be awesome. Trust me. Trust me. It will be awesome. Uh, I got some mods for the Hellcat in the trunk. Very small mods, but you'll like them. They're actually quite important. And big mods for the Hellcat coming. Got to order them. Uh, truck. Uh, T case rings got to go on. Once my drive shaft spacer comes this week, I should be able to uh, bring that truck up to Cleveland, finish that uh, T case ring off and stuff and other stuff like that. I will be bringing you guys the video of how to afford stuff like this very soon as well. Trust me, I got a lot of videos. Like I am really getting, like I'm filming a whole bunch today and I should be filming more, you know, this week. So I'll have a whole lot of videos lined up for you guys. You don't gotta worry about that. But if you guys haven't been here before, If you enjoyed this video, shoot this video a thumbs up. If you haven't been here before, please get down there, click subscribe. Take care. I will see you guys in the next video. And whoo, guys, we're growing. We're growing fast. Thank you guys for all your support. It means the world. Trust me. Uh, you know, when I say thank you, I really do mean it. So I want to say thank you guys for the support. I will see you guys in the next video.